special people that are here with us tonight. Uh, I'd like to invite Todd Surgan, Linda Pollock, and Allison Saffron, please to come up to the stage. They're going to say a couple nice things. Come on, guys, give them a little sugar. Here they come. So, we're here tonight to honor Cheryl David, Bob Reba, and Miles and our band. To kind of talk about where, how we got here and, and the beginning of the Renewal 2020 campaign. Which, the genesis of which happened in 2015, in actuality. Perhaps even on Shabbat Bray Sheet itself. As legend has it, Cheryl Epsteiner, I saw Cheryl earlier, and Michelle Galerter struck up a conversation shortly after services, high holiday services that year. They were sitting, they sit at about like 1 p.m. from what was then Rabbi Lewis's lectern. And I think they still sit there. Uh, and they were talking about those ugly windows that were behind stage left and stage right of the Bima. Remember those ugly like, they were supposed to be clear, but they were hadn't been cleaned in years. They were yellow, they were like corrugated, like the inside of cardboard. They were ugly. One said to the other, wooden stained glass looks so nice there rather than just plain glass. At that moment, seven years ago, nearly seven years ago, during a chat between two high holiday neighbors, our renewed space was conceived. A casual conversation continued into countless meetings, discussions, PowerPoint presentations, solicitations, more solicitations, studies, concepts, pitches, votes, more votes, drawings, plans, by the way, that was how I really learned about Robert's rules. Um, new plans, bids, walkthroughs, namings, renamings, and not to be outdone, one global pandemic. Of course, that's when I get the microphone. <laughs> anyway, new stained glass turned into a complete hammer trip social hall, sunshine kitchen, and great house sanctuary renovation. An increase in the accessibility of the entire campus, library, and education wing, and finally, a repaired and resurfaced parking lot. Alice is my probably the favorite part of this whole thing. No one would accuse us of not dreaming big. Two million dollars became two and a half million dollars, became three million something, which finally became four point three million dollars. Which at the time became me having heart of that. <laughs> Renewal 2020 became Raise the Roof, became pretty and purposeful. Cheryl Miller became Todd Surden, became Allison Saffron, became Linda Pollock, became Jamie Lyons. Renewal 2020 has many mothers and fathers. That's what happens when something is so successful and when dreams become reality. The aforementioned Cheryl Epsteiner, Michelle Galerter, Tammy Cohen, <laughs> Jeff Brown, Randy Figger, Adrian Figger, Angie Nocter, Jill Ullman, and so many more of you who shepherded this dream from, from reality. From dream to reality. Renewal 2020 started when Rabbi Lewis was the senior rabbi and before Rabbi George was even a gleam in our collective conscience. <laughs> Scott, Scott Rittenberg was still harping on about fluid situations, and Todd was not yet ranting about an exceptional creation. Bob Backrack was still in charge. Was still in charge? <laughs> Today we honor everyone who played a role in Renewal 2020, especially all of you who were so generous with your financial support for the future of Congregation at Zion. 450 different families contributed to the campaign. Renewal 2020 only became a reality because of those of you who opened your checkbooks and your hearts to this project. 
the Hammer Tritt Social Hall, the Radau Sanctuary, the Sunshine Kitchen, and so much more went from dream to reality because of your collective exceptionalism. But today is also about giving special recognition to two couples who played an outsized role in Renewal 2020. David and Cheryl Miller. And Reba and Bob Beckler. To say that all this would not have gone from dream to reality without these two couples is not an overstatement. In the weeks after the Gartner Epsteiner conversation, Cheryl, Todd, Nate, and Bob had a number of discussions, and it became clear that our exceptional congregation was worthy of not just new stained glass windows, but of a social hall with fully functioning lighting and sound systems, a kitchen that was heated and air conditioned. <laughs> with an accessible Bima and classrooms with 21st century partitions and sinks. <laughs> Early in Todd's presidency, the board agreed to dream big. And then a number of times during my presidency, the board voted to turn dreams into dollars. And during Linda's presidency, we persevered through lockdown, social distancing, and mask wearing and turn dreams into real physical spaces, even though by then we had to view those physical spaces through the screen. A project of such size and scope required leaders who also dreamed big. Leaders like the Millers and the Backracks. There were no two people better suited to chair Renewal 2020 than Cheryl and David Miller. Cheryl was a past sisterhood president and had just concluded her very consequential term as president of this congregation, during which she led us masterfully during a time of transition. David had served as fund fundraising vice president. Most significantly, however, David and Cheryl had always been leading benefactors and financial supporters of AIDS time. David, in particular, is mission-driven when it comes to giving. And his mission isn't just about the Miller family, but it is instead about the congregation, the community, the world at large. David is atypically generous. And so is Cheryl. She leads with her heart, always. There is, no person with a, there is no person with a bigger and more giving and purple heart than Cheryl. So once Cheryl and David came aboard as chairs of the campaign, there was no way it wouldn't become mission accomplished with love to spare. And then there are Reba and Bob an accomplished educator and school principal. Reba came to synagogue lay leadership later on. She was on a committee that planned the 2010 synagogue retreat. She's been on the board of trustees nominating committee and has been a sisterhood leader and proprietor of the gift shop over the last several years. Including years when running a retail operation was, a ch was challenging due to the pandemic. Reva is likewise mission-driven in her lay leadership. She is as committed and gives as much to Congregation of Chaim as anyone. Of course, you have to be if you share a life with Bob Backer. <laughs> Our perpetual president and HR director, swirler of money, keeper of the flame, Knower of where the bodies bury. Okay, I promise you guys, there really are no bodies. <laughs> in the cell. Mentor, consigliere, the mayor of the pews and the back offices and the classrooms and the front of the house and the back. <laughs> Bob Backrack is congregation at time. 
He has done many capes for this place, and like Cheryl, he's managed to wear those capes over his heart. When a history of this place is written, and we are coming up on 50 years as an institution, Bob Backrack will have his own chapter. And so when a leader was needed to manage the Renewal 2020 construction, which essentially became a full-time job for close to two years, there was no more capable and willing person than Bob. Some numbers to consider. Renewal 2020 was a $4.3 million project. Project pledges exceeded $4.4 million. To start construction, the board authorized the congregation to borrow $2 million. But due to the Miller's spectacular fundraising and the Backrack's prudent project and construction management, the Shul's borrowing for Renewal 2020 never exceeded $750,000 at any one time. And as we sit here today, the unpaid debt from the project is less than $75,000. Should be paid off by next year. And as the person who signed that one, I feel very good about that. <laughs> Think about it. During a global pandemic, we persevered and completed a multi-million dollar capital campaign that will have a lasting impact on the future of Congregation and Science. And we have little to no debt to show for it. Maybe you can just make more plans. <laughs> Today, during a time of transition from all things virtual back to the physical world, we gather to celebrate a story, our story, of turning dreams into reality. In this space, we who the, and those who come after us will celebrate and mourn, worship and learn, gather and connect as a congregation and as a community. It is because of all of you for sure but because of Cheryl and David, and Riva and Bob in particular, their work will be our legacy. Cheryl and David, Riva and Bob were essential to Renewal 2020. Today, we give them their due. So, it is with a great deal of love and thanks that we present these gifts. Thank you for all you do for its time. May you go from strength to strength.
Thank you. Thank you, Linda, Allison, and Todd, for your very, very kind and overly generous remarks. Your words, and more importantly, your friendship, mean the world to us, to all of us. A huge thank you to everyone involved in planning for today's Renewal Fest, the celebration and the Ad Journal as well. I know not everybody is here, but Stacy and Harris, Shari and Steve, Alan, Sharon, Janice, Danny, Marty and his amazing staff, um, Suzanne and Felicia are not here, Aaron and his crew, unbelievable, and of course Jamie and the whole board who has supported us. It is a huge undertaking and your efforts are truly, truly appreciated. And of course, a very heartfelt mazel to Bob and Reba. Standing beside you and being honored together is just so very special to both of us. For me, lucky can one girl get, surrounded by my amazing husband, my work husband, <laughs> and his amazing, patient, wife. The work husband has no benefits. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay, these guys covered so much, so I'm just going to try to read this quick. As, as, when Todd Surgeon approached us many years ago, four presidents ago to be exact, to chair this exceptional synagogue's capital campaign, we immediately said, yes. What an incredible opportunity to give back to a place that has been our spiritual home for so many years. A place where we put down roots, raised our beautiful daughters, Jessie and Amanda, made lifelong friendships, and watched our lives become fuller, surrounded by so many of you who are here tonight. Somewhere shortly after that quick yes, we realized the magnitude of this undertaking, but knew the importance of getting it done knowing this project would benefit our congregants for generations to come. With synagogue leadership supporting this wholeheartedly, it was easy to share this vision with the Aetheim community, knowing that others would feel the same way. Our building was due for a renewal. What started as an idea to enhance our sanctuary with stained glass windows quickly blossomed into a full renovation that came to be known by our hallmark phrase, raise the roof, which we literally did right here in the Hammertritt Social Hall. There were plenty of hurdles to overcome, but we were bolstered by the power of us. Because a time is exceptional, our rabbis, our leadership, our congregants, our staff, a proven track record and a vision for the future, dozens, and I will not list names for fear of leaving someone out, but truly dozens of volunteers stepped up to help and their dedication to every detail was impeccable. Look at, look at the space we're standing in. Our gratitude to each and every one of you is truly immeasurable. You gave us the power to succeed. We were blessed with incredible generosity by our congregants, as well as by many of our friends and family. The power of all of us coming, coming, coming together to support Renewal 2020 turned a vision into this spectacular reality that we could enjoy together for years to come. A million thank yous, 4.3 million thank yous <laughs> remain inadequate. On a personal level, being a part of this campaign was such a gratifying achievement for both David and I. Memories we will always hold dear, as we know we have impacted the lives of our congregants by enabling them to continue to create meaningful Jewish experiences together here at Aitzhaya. We are honored to do our small part as campaign chairs and are truly humbled by this recognition. Thank you again from the bottom of our hearts.
speaking from all of us, we are really flattered with this Kavod. Uh, but you are really the ones to be honored. You provided the resources, and with your guidance, with your support, we created our future. Todd kept talking throughout his presidency about us being an exceptional congregation. And as I was thinking, and as I was kind of reflecting, the leadership, there, there are two components to managing, running a synagogue. One is the lay leadership. And from our inception under Stephen King to most recently, in terms of past presidents, Linda Pollack, and now under Jamie's leadership. Our past leadership is still very much involved. That is a tribute. That is indeed a tribute to this organization. We've, our spiritual leadership, we're almost 50 years old. And we've only had two senior rabbis. Think about it for a moment. Rabbi Lewis is a kid, came here. He's still the big kid. He came here and a time was born and it matured and it grew. And I guess five years ago now, when we asked Dan Dorsch to, to join us, he has picked up where Rabbi Lewis left off. And look at some of the exciting programming and some of the exciting things that are happening with our within our institution. We have got phenomenal professional and spiritual leadership. We have phenomenal and exceptional lay leadership and something we should all be very, very proud of. I, I think, though, there are so many things that were exciting about Renewal 2020, but kind of the crowning jewel sits out in the lobby across from the doors of the Hammer Trip Social Hall, and it's the donor plaque. And at the center of the donor plaque is this gorgeous mosaic, and in the middle of the mosaic is an eight time, the Tree of Life. And there's some Hebrew written in it. And loosely translated, the Hebrew says, our parents built for us, and we will build for our children. Ladies and gentlemen, you indeed have built for our future. And we're very proud to be part of it. Thank you so much.